are talking about gender and written discourse uh, we discussed this relationship of gender with literature and in literature there is a subdomain of literature which is devoted for children and this time we would see relationship between gender and child literature okay you all know that from your previous uh, discussions we have said that we know about gender norms of society at school and at home how we know that they are not uh, taught uh, directly they are taught indirectly through socialization what is socialization this is the process of telling you what is acceptable in our society and what is unacceptable what is good way of living and what is bad way or unacceptable way of living that is called socialization so one kind of socialization is our interaction with our parents with our grandparents etc and the other form of socialization is through child literature our parents they provide us nursery rhymes and fairy tales and something like that through this literature we also form our perception conception about what a woman is and what a man is so uh, in fact the author from whose book uh, we are studying this module uh, i would provide you this material so he is of the opinion that this literature has direct link with our gender norm it supports it uh, in a way perpetuates uh, it promotes it promotes uh, the relationship uh, between gender and culture and uh, it promotes the difference between a woman and man let's see nursery rhymes and fairy tales uh, and uh, one collection that he mentions in uh, his book is mother goose this is collection of nursery rhymes some selections are uh, being shared from this uh, mother goose for example this is a poem i would just share the conclusion the central theme of each of these poem nursery rhymes you can say you will think over them this is your task you will think over these poems and suggest a new title new theme for each of them uh, i suppose that you uh, it is not necessary for you that you just uh, go after me and just uh, uh, conclude what i have concluded from these uh, nursery rhymes for example in this nursery rhyme my conclusion is that it conveys the message that females are passive males are active in life in performance of responsibilities of life you will read it and you will uh, try to make a different conclusion uh, that uh, from that i have drawn another nursery rhyme is the first of may this rhyme shows that women are very careful about their fairness they are very mindful to uh, keep them attractive so another nursery rhyme that is uh, this is not nursery rhyme sorry uh, here uh, we are showing that uh, the titles of the nursery rhymes given in mother goose they most of them use the adjective old for woman look the old woman under a hill goosey goosey gender for weak weak gender a strange old woman a needle and thread you see many old women have these two things when they sit alone they have a needle and some thread dame 
trot dame woman dame trot and her cat so cat is also a companion in old age okay in all these titles what is being conveyed silently to children is that women are old women are weak okay men are strong men are powerful similarly this nursery rhyme may con convey this idea that women are very talkative and uh, uh, you have already discussed all these things in previous modules please uh, go through them and read these rhymes and then think over the themes which i have uh, derived from them okay so this is the conclusion from my side that women are talkative this is the central idea of this nursery rhyme and it is unconsciously conveyed to young innocent children power uh, sorry poor women have bleak future this nursery rhyme shows that if a person knows that this woman is poor though that woman is beautiful attractive after knowing that this woman is poor she has no chances for a good uh, partnership uh, with that person a, a chances for having marriage with that person if that person is a rich person so uh, you all are very well aware of this issue in our own culture in our own society you see this in dramas you read it in novels okay this nursery rhyme conveys this idea to young children so we conclude that children literature is also very strong source of gendering and that too during childhood so there is direct relationship according to the author of these uh, ideas there is direct relationship between language and gender norms